Well, hello everybody. Hello, my friends. I have another video. Uh, I show you a video of my cactus that I have planted in the back. And I told you guys that I was going to do a recipe of how we prepare our cactus. And um, I'm going to show it to you today. Buenos, como están todos? Bienvenidos a mi canal, a Lulala, Lulalu blog. Y pues les quiero enseñar muchas personas que no saben en diferentes partes del mundo que los nopales se comen. Y les quiero enseñar a uh, mi esposo cortó nopales. Y les voy a enseñar una receta de cómo nosotros preparamos estos nopales. Como ven aquí, ya se están cociendo como son como cinco nopales aquí. Uh, I have about, we already, uh, my husband cut some cactuses. He cleaned it. And I have in this pot, there's about five of them. There's, it's about this size right here. Son como de este tamaño. So what he does, he gets the cactus and he cleans it like with a knife going that way. Lo limpia, le quita todos los, los, ya ve que tiene unas espinitas y él lo limpia así con un cuchillo pero yendo hacia afuera. So uh, I got five of these. You cut them in, in pieces. Agarra como cinco, los cortas en pedazos. Y, um, y los pones en una olla a cocer. You put them in a pot. Only like half, half a, a cup of water. Only half. You put it. Only a little bit. Lo ponen nomás poquita agua. Lo prenden. Y lo dejan que se cosa. Y lo que va a hacer que la misma suelta una baba. La misma baba va a limpiar el... O sea que la misma babita va a coser el nopal. Uh, what the cactus does. Only have a, like a, a cup of water in a pot. Um, the amount it's about five medium sized cactus. You cut them up in pieces. You put them in a pot. And then it has, it, it when it starts to boil, see how slimy it is? Okay. That same little slime, thick slime, it's going to cook your cactus. You don't need a lot of water. So you only put a little bit. That's it. You cook it. So see how it's cooking? Nomás le ponen poquita agua porque la misma baba cose el nopal. Los nopales, y aquí son cinco nopales medianos, ok? Más o menos. And, and the ingredients, I have um, three tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, because these have better taste. Roma tomatoes, and some slices of ham, whatever ham you want. Um, a piece of, this is Mexican cheese, and just like a quarter of um, cabbage. If you want the green one or the red one, I like the red one. And three, if you like spicy food, I, I like the serrano chilies, so I got three. So you cut them up in pieces and that's what I have right here, my cabbage. And then like a handful of cilantro. I have my cilantro and it's from my backyard too. Here's the cut up ham, the cabbage, and the three tomatoes. And then I have um, half an onion right here, half of the purple onion and the three serrano chiles already chopped up. Aquí tengo los ingredientes es um, jamón al gusto, el, el jamón que quieran, tres de tomate roma. Y me gusta el roma porque tiene buen sabor. Uh, chile serrano, si le quieren poner chile, si no, pues no le pongan. Yo, ten, yo tenía repollo morado, nomás si es como un cuarto o el repollo que ustedes quieran ponerle el verde y cilantro, un puño de cilantro y aquí lo tengo ya partido, lo parten todo y aquí tengo media cebolla morada y los chiles serrano, ok so, let me get a, a pot that I need so what you gonna do, ya lo que hacen, see when it's already cooked I hope it doesn't Turn it off and that's done already. So, 
what you do after after the, the cactus is cooked, you get a drain. Uh, let me get it up. I forgot to get it out. So. Okay, I'm gonna agarrar una coladera. Okay. And you're gonna drain, you're gonna put it in the drainer right here. So I don't want Ugh. God. So you put the the cactus to to drain in a a pot with um you know that has a drainer. Van a colar sus nopales, lo van a limpiar, lo van a lavar. You you gonna rinse them out with cold water. Um, just give me a minute because. I don't want the steam to get into the video. So this is, you clean it, see? Okay, lo, lo lavan, lo limpian. Bien, para que se le quite todo el, todo el slime que um, rinse away. And then after that, después de eso, when you rinse your cactus, You let it like for a couple of minutes to drain all the water out. Lo dejan que se escurra unos minutos. Okay. Y luego, you put it in your pot, in your little, where you're going to do your, your salad. And then, let me turn this off. See how it's right there. Aquí está. See, it's already cooked. Ahí está, ya está cocinado el, el nopal. So, you can put all your ingredients in there. Vas a poner todos los ingredientes en el recipiente. All your ingredients are going to go in there. You put them in there. Vas a poner todo lo adentro. I'm doing it with one hand. Lo estoy haciendo con una mano porque. Ok. So. Right there. And then you're going to mix it together. and showing good so when you all when you mix it together así es como lo van a mezclar todo lo mezclan todo todo muy bien okay and then when you mix it all together you mix it real good see your cactus miren el nopal lo tienen que mezclar bien mezcladito okay y ya cuando lo mezclan when you mix it together, then you, you're going to put some pepper. I'm going to ponerle pimienta al gusto. Just put some pepper, however, you know. A little bit of pepper. And then a little bit of, um, half, like half a teaspoon of salt. Or just at your own taste. Sal al gusto. You mix it together again. Okay.
mix it real good. Lo mezclan bien, bien mezcladito. Si le quieren poner más pimienta, le pueden poner más pimienta. If you want to put more pepper, I'm going to put a little bit more. And you have to watch the salt because, you know, the ham, it's already salted, you know. So, just like half a teaspoon, you know, maybe less. Your taste. Como poquita sal porque el jamón tiene... Tiene este, ya ven que está saladito. Okay. And then after, ya después de que le pusieron todo eso, let me get the chili and the, the onion. Okay. And then I just get a small piece. You're going to get whatever... However, you like the cheese. And this is the Mexican cheese. Fresh cheese. Este es queso mexicano. And what you're going to do. Let me mix this up a little bit. Okay. Mix your peppers and your onion too in there. If you want to put more onion, you can put more onion or whatever. The taste that you have. Si le quieren poner más cebolla de la que yo le puse aquí, yo le puse media cebollita, cebolla morada. Okay. And then you get your Mexican cheese. Agarran el queso. And you sprinkle it on top. Look. Okay. Agarran queso. Y you mix it around. Whatever cheese you want to put in it, it's your own taste. This is what I do. And this is, and it's so hot today, Sunday, April. The 27, it's so hot, so I decided to do this salad so we could eat. And it, it has all your vegetables, it has your um, protein, and then you just get a tostada. I got una tostada para comérsela. Just put it in a tostada. Put it in a tostada like this. See? And you eat it. Mmm. It's so good. Está tan sabrosa. This is like a 15 minute recipe. It's so fresh. It fills you up. Um, it has everything that your body needs. This es una ensalada bien fresca. Para el tiempo de calor. You could even take it. You could do it in a party. Like a side dish. Pueden hacerlo en una. Llevarlo como a sus. Con sus familiares. A sus fiestas. Como una ensalada aparte. Para sus otros alimentos. Como quieran ustedes. Hacer esta ensalada. Pero está bien sabrosa. Se las quería compartir. And these are the cactus. From. My backyard. My tomatoes from my backyard and my cilantro. It's from my backyard. So I just wanted to show you on my blog one recipe. I promised you guys I was going to show you how to, how one recipe of the cactus. Later on, I'm going to keep on putting more recipes of different um, types of foods that we um, cook using the cactus. Más adelante les voy a compartir más videos de... Otro recetas de cómo nosotros um, cocinamos los nopales como con carne, con pollo, en chile. So, les voy a ir compartiendo. Si quieren de veras ver más videos, suscríbanse a mi canal y pues, pónganle like. Si les gusta, 
van a recibir notificaciones de YouTube que ya subí otro video. Muchas gracias por venir a ver mi canal. Espero les haya gustado esta receta. Y nos vemos hasta la siguiente. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. If you really enjoy this recipe, I'm going to be putting more recipes of all my vegetables of my backyard. How do I, what, and what recipes do I use to cook in my house? So if you really like my channel, please subscribe. And um, don't forget to put your like and your comments. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.